Hey guys, it's Sandro here. Today's video is a look at Hot Wheels Car Care SIO2 Nano Ceramic Coating. I have some super fond memories of playing with toy cars as a kid. Making engine sounds, screeching noises, launching those cars across the floor and crashing them into each other. A kid's mind is limitless and every time I pulled out those cars it was always a new adventure waiting to happen. Hot Wheels as a toy car manufacturer has brought so much joy to children around the world for so many years and is a brand as well known as any in the toy car space. So you can imagine the nostalgic feeling that swept over me when I saw that Hot Wheels has a line of car care products that could allow the kid inside me to once again play with Hot Wheels as a grown up on a much bigger full size car. Honestly, I didn't even think about it. I just thought this is so cool. I have to get it, try it and share that experience in a video. Now with all the sentimental feelings aside, this Hot Wheels ceramic spray coating will be put through its paces to see what it's like to work with and how it performs in terms of looks, feel, behavior and potential durability, so let's get to it. First up was assessing the user experience. Now as a whole, the recommended application is give or take similar to most spray coatings on the market in that you spray it onto a microfiber cloth spread it into a panel section and then buff it off with a second cloth. But that's where the similarities end because Hot Wheels Ceramic Spray definitely has its own thing happening as far as application goes. The first thing you will notice is that it has a decent amount of grip as you lay it down and I don't think it's a stretch to say that it's a bit tacky in that way and feels a bit serious which isn't something I was expecting. Now when I was outdoors, the recommended waiting period of 20 seconds to flash and bond before wiping it down was spot on and perfect. But indoors, I needed to wait a little over a minute. This is really important because it completely changes the experience you have with it if you don't wait long enough or if you wait too long before leveling it down with your second cloth. When I got the timing right, it was an absolute pleasure to buff off, super quick and easy. But if you don't allow it to flash and bond, the wipe off is even more grippy than the wipe on. And if you wait too long, it's still very smooth feeling, but some of the streaks will become hard to remove and you'll have to reapply it to remove them. So the wipe off timing is really everything with this ceramic spray coating. As a whole, this is how the application went for me. On the first few panels I applied it, I thought this is horrible to use. Then I started to get better with the wipe down timing and by the end of the car I pretty much got the hang of it and thought it's actually not too bad. So there's a small learning curve in watching the coating flash and streak that allows you to read it and greatly improve the experience you have with it. The other thing to mention is that you should flip your cloths and switch to clean towels more frequently than usual or the wipe on and wipe off will become progressively more difficult. All in all, I still think the wipe on is a bit too grippy and should have more lubrication. But once you take the time to get to know it, the wipe off is very nice and rewarding as long as you give it a chance. After the spray coating was allowed to fully cure over a week, the next test was assessing its ability to improve the look of automotive paint. Now, as per usual, I left some compounding haze and marring on the test panel because that allows you guys to see more clearly on camera how well paint coatings can improve the finish. But what you'll hopefully see in the footage is that Hot Wheels spray coating did in fact help improve reflective gloss levels as well as add a decent amount of darkening or boosted saturation and also help fill in at least a portion of the finer haze and swirl marks. So all in all, I think it's done a good job at improving the look of this paint. And even when I tried it on my own cars, I could see a nice little overall boost in the looks department. Now in saying that, I don't think it's absolutely amazing in this area, nor is it bad. Just good, solid and nice. Next up was assessing the slickness or reduced friction it creates on car paint. Now, as I run my old ceramic coating bottle over the surface, what you'll see is that Hot Wheels SIO2 coating does do quite a bit to reduce friction compared to the bare untreated paint. 
Apart from just feeling nice, added slickness helps reduce the likelihood of washing, drying and wiping swirls, so it's definitely a desirable characteristic. Now once again, I wouldn't say it's the slickest spray coating I've ever tested, nor is it the tackiest, but more so somewhere in the middle and once again nice and solid in this area. So onto some water behaviour testing to evaluate the hydrophobic performance of this spray coating. Now one thing you're immediately going to see as soon as I introduce some water onto the panel is that Hot Wheels SiO2 nano ceramic coating isn't exactly a hydrophobic coating. I mean it does do something to somewhat sheet the water, perhaps a touch better than the bare paint, but I would personally say it's more of a hydrophilic finish it leaves behind that attracts water closer to bare paint rather than repels it closer to most ceramic coatings. Now Hot Wheels car care doesn't make any hydrophobic performance claims which is just as well. And I know some people like hydrophilic coatings so it's not like it has to be hydrophobic. But I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little disappointed. I think even if the intent wasn't for it to be overly hydrophobic it would still be nice if it could at least sheet a touch faster and produce some slightly nicer water bead contact angles. Just like bare paint, it will still produce water beads when more typical rainfall amounts of water hit it, but they are flat, oddly shaped and don't tend to run off the panel. The only thing I can suggest is that Hot Wheels recommends maintaining this ceramic coating with their Epic Shine Detail Spray that is described as hydrophobic, so that could potentially be a good topper for this coating to assist it in this water behaviour area. The final area of evaluation was potential durability. Now look guys, when a paint protection product is hydrophilic, it's truly hard to know when it's still performing and when it's long gone. Honestly, how do you really know? You can feel the paint for slickness, but in my experience, slickness is usually one of the first things to wane long before a coating is diminished. You can visually try and inspect it for good gloss and saturation levels, but once again a coating can certainly start to lose its initial amazing looks before it's worn off. The truth is that hydrophobic performance is by far the best way to determine whether a coating or not is still actively protecting your paint. So without it, it's tough to really know how long this coating or any coating will last. I guess you'll just have to look for signs of increased contamination or the onset of oxidation. So let's wrap up this video with my own personal conclusions. Hot Wheels Car Care actually has quite a large range of detailing gear including a number of exterior and interior cleaners, dressings and paint protectants so this nano ceramic spray coating is just one of many products they offer and may or may not be a good representation of this brand. I still think the spray coating is a bit on the grippy side to wipe in but once you get the hang of it the wipe off is actually quite pleasant. And I think it looks reasonably good and feels quite nice in the slickness department. I'm personally not a fan of hydrophilic sealants or coatings, but if you are, then this could actually be a nice one. I have no idea what to expect from durability, but who knows? It could potentially protect your paint quite well into the future or not. I guess it would just have to be tested out long term. At 50 Aussie dollars for quite a massive 590ml bottle, it seems reasonably priced considering that you could probably coat a car more than 20 times with it. But for me, I think it's going into the display cabinet next to my toy and model cars and I think I'll use it from time to time to give them a wipe down and reminisce about the simple pleasures, innocence and joys of past childhood. I think I'll leave it there guys and if you enjoyed this video and would like to say thanks and help support future content, you can do so by buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash ccid in which I'll have a link to in the description box or you can now hit the thanks button below the video and thank you everyone for the support so far. As always, I really hope you guys enjoyed and found this video useful. Please share it with others, give it a like and comment below to show support for this content and I'll see you guys soon.